good morning, my brothers and sisters, and all those friends and of our, some relatives and of our St. Alphonsus community here at the parish. We once again are very happy that we can come to you and enter into your homes as we celebrate Eucharist together here in our house chapel. Let's begin our prayer this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. As we begin our celebration this morning, let's take a moment to look into our hearts, to acknowledge our sinfulness, and to pray for the Lord's loving forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came into this world to save us from our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross for us and then returned to your Father in heaven that we might have life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find the favor in your sight. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew the plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to the slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for you have entered and trusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord my God, I take shelter in you. Lord, Lord, Lord my God, God I, I take, take shelter, shelter in you. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey. Lord, Lord my God, I take shelter in you. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just. O searcher of heart and soul, O just God, Lord my God, I take shelter in you. A shield before me is God who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. Lord my God, I take shelter in you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard the words of Jesus began to say, This must be the prophet. Others were claiming, He is the Messiah. But an objection was raised. Surely the Messiah is not to come from Galilee. Does not scripture say that the Messiah, 
being of David's family, is to come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived. In this fashion, the crowd was sharply divided over him. Some of them even wanted to apprehend him. However, no one laid hands on him. When the temple guards came, the chief priests and the Pharisees asked them, Why did you not bring him in? The man never spoke like that before. No man ever spoke like that before, the guards replied. Do not tell us that you too have been taken in, the Pharisees retorted. You do not see any of the Sanhedrin believing in him, do you? Or the Pharisees? Only this lot that knows nothing about the law, and they are lost anyway. One of their own number, Nicodemus, the man who had come to him, spoke up to say, Since when does our law condemn any man without first hearing him and knowing the facts? Do not tell us you are a Galilean too, they taunted him. Look it up. You will not find the prophet coming from Galilee. Then each went off to his own whole house. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. They just refused to believe that this man from Nazareth could be the one. They wouldn't allow themselves to believe that. But even the temple guards they said no man ever spoke like this before. They recognized that Jesus spoke with a unique type of authority. That Jesus spoke to the heart. Unlike the, the Pharisees and the scribes who would speak to the people of things of the mind. Jesus spoke to the people about, to the things of the heart. But they refused to believe him. Are we moved when we hear Jesus speak to us? Does it change our hearts? During this season of Lent, as we hear the Gospels proclaimed, and we hear Jesus once again call us to repentance, are we motivated to examine and change our lives? As we continue this journey through Lent, let us pray for the grace we need to listen with our hearts to the words of Christ. And we're needed to change our lives. Let us now raise our voices in prayer. We pray first of all for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for our Bishop David.
We pray for all men and women who are called to ministry and service in the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the those who suffer from the virus. We pray for all of those people who are called in a very special way as those on the front lines to serve us and to serve those who are sick. The first responders, the doctors, the nurses, the technicians, those who put their lives at risk, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for any of our parishioners who at this time are, are suffering and nearing death. In particular, we pray for Mary Jane Krajewski, who is a longtime parishioner who is nearing death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the Lord's blessings on all of the social outreach programs of our parish community, especially during this difficult time of the coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we humbly ask you today as a community of faith to hear the prayers that we have just voiced and those many prayers that remain in our hearts and know to you alone. We make all of these prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus, our crucified and risen Savior, and through the intercession of his mother Mary, our perpetual help. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed us be God forever.
Please pray with me now that our gifts of bread and wine, as well as the gift of our lives, will be made acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all in God's holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice we pray, of one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, with David our Bishop, with Rick our Pastor, with the clergy, religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And remember all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Alphonsus Liguori, Blessed Francis Xavier Silos, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we are now privileged to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer to each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. join with us in praying our act of spiritual communion. And if you don't have the words to the prayer, they can be found on the St. Alphonsus Grand Rapids webpage, and you can join with us. We pray, my Jesus, I, I believe, believe in that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire that you reside always in my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself completely to you as though you were already there. Please do not ever let me be separated from you. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them the abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolation of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods they can, that cannot be seen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you and your families, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Eucharist is now complete. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And thank you once again for joining us today. And please come back tomorrow. There will be Eucharist tomorrow again at the same time. Thank you. <laughs>